Boopity boop boo shock gamers, what's up? So this is me. Hi, I'm telling you, well, showing you, not telling you, telling you be complied to do it, but whatever. How to get wine onto your Mac and you know, get PC games and stuff like Rainsome Magic, which is obviously a PC game if I'm doing stuff with it. Now, the make four things you need is A a Mac, no crap, uh B, you are going to need Java preferences. If you do not have Java downloaded on your Mac and you're running Lion or Snow Leopard, applications, utilities, Java preferences, double click that, it brings it up, asks you if you want to download it, click yes, and then once you do, make sure that you have these two clicked off. That's 64 bit CPU type and 32 bit CPU type. Right. Then, after that, you want to go to your app store, type in Xcode, and you want to install the Xcode installer. What? Okay, yeah. And then you click on that, and it brings you to the installation process. Now, to be able to download Xcode, it's like, you know, downloading anything else. After that, you are going to need Mac ports. So, for that, you would go online up here. Uh, so, like, macports.org, I already got that up for you, yay. You scroll here, no, you get getting started, installation, and then you go down, so Mac OS X package PKJ, PKG installer. You click on the DMG for your operating system. They have Lion, Snow Leopard, or Leopard. You click on that, it pops up, you open it, you launch it, a little box will pop up here, you double click on the package, it opens it up. Now, Mac ports will not install unless you have Xcode and X11. Uh, X11 will generally come preloaded with your computer, but you might have to install it through the disk, and you also need terminal for this video. And then after you've installed uh, Mac ports, all you really need is terminal and the administrative account password. So you would open up a new terminal page, that would be this one, and you would type in, hold on, let me get you the writtens, you would type in, without the dollar sign, mind you, because that's at the end of your thing, echo, export, path, all this crap, just whatever. I'm going to give you the link to this page, which also contains written instructions in in the thingy of this video, what I forget what that's called, whatever, and then you just copy paste into it and then you should get this back if you don't get that back there's a problem definitely use the written instructions no matter what then once you're done once it's done doing that it should pop up with with this again where it looks like that macbook pro whatever and then you would go to this line copy paste that the end and then you would close the terminal window like oh yeah close the terminal window and then reopen it again I'm not gonna do that cuz I'm already done that now once you've done that sudo port install wine no dollar sign just sudo port install wine if you're running Ubuntu you can just do sudo install wine cuz it has it preloaded and everything but whatever um, after that it's you wait like an hour it installs it etc if it doesn't work if it fails or anything it means you probably forgot to install Xcode but Mac ports won't let you not install Xcode so whatever or you forgot to do something now once you're done that like an hour later I'm done that see we uh, you type in wine well okay hold on. this is the complicated part you open up your terminal page and then you have to go Downloads. Oh, okay. No, I'm gonna show you. In the terminal page, new window. In the terminal page, you would type. You need to get to the file directory in which everything's in. So I put my runes of magic in my download. So you do cd command directory. So it would bring you somewhere. Space, capital D, downloads. Oh, sorry. Cd, download. What? Cd. Downloads. Oh yeah. Okay. So then it brings. Sorry. What? So then it brings you into the um, uh, MacBook Pro downloads thing from your thingy, and then you would type ls to see what's in there, and then it would make you a list of all the stuff you have downloaded. 
So, in my case, I did Runes of Magic, so you would copy and copy that, and then you would type wine, and then, sh then you would paste. And I've already done that, so whatever, and then you would click enter, and it would completely install your thing. Yeah, and then you would just wait for it to install, and to run it, I you would type in this, so it would actually be able to run. And then you would type in wine, and then the program, and then the exe. And then it would open the x11, which will already have been opened, because when you actually install it, like when you type in installer, it opens up the installer and it prompts you to install, etc. It's taken me quite a while to do this one, but whatever, right? And then, yeah, once it's done, you just do that. My next video will be about how to make a dock icon, so you don't always have to access your games and crap or whatever from from terminal directly and you'll have to go through all process of things now i will be doing that next video thank you very much this is shock gamers signing out